All right, everybody, welcome to our weekly com drift comp number eight. This is the ESDA Irwindale 2022 variant. Tonight we're going to be, it uh, looks like we have about 17 competitors here coming to the uh, wonderful California Irwindale track here. Uh, we have just uh, a few more things to be going here, and then we're going to be starting off on our qualifying. Uh, with that, we'll go over our rules, our judge our uh, judges that we have tonight uh we are down one judge for the usual three but uh we're gonna make do here and uh continue on but uh very interesting track lots of wall uh wall corners here and uh it's gonna be a lot of proximity based on those as well but uh we'll do a quick uh track overview here So this is coming into our first outside corner, uh, our outside zone one here. This is a one of the largest curves in the course here, uh, hugging that wall all the way across. Coming around here to our first inside clip one, and then throughout to our outside zone number two. That right before that, there is a decel zone coming into our inside clip two, into the second decel zone, into the outside zone three across the finish line. So let's get qualifying started here. We're going to have everybody line up. Judges for the evening are K Drift for line, myself for angle, and we will both be uh, combining for the X Factor, proximity, aggression, everything along those lines that uh, contributes in the score. Everything will be scored out of 100. The scores uh, will not be immediately public. They will either be a win or lose, uh, but I just thought we should have the transparency that the uh, everything is fully judged on a point-based system um, and everything like that. Special thanks to all participants and the layout creator. The track we're running tonight is the ESDA Irwindale 2022. Walls and zones were created by ESDA Championship. Uh, big thanks to them for making this map and sharing it out to the public for us to use. Got us on Hockey Hunter in the lead with Karsty in the chase position. When you guys are ready, let's send them on their way. Don't forget to give our man at Dials FPV a little bit of love here. Here we go. They're off the line, coming in to this huge initiation right here. Pushing across our first outside zone here on that wall. Keeping it safe there by Karsty. Coming around the inside clip. And coming into our first E-cell zone, Karsty straightens out and smashes into the wall there. We are still on here. He is still running and trying to catch up as... Hunter keeps pushing, or Slide Reaper keeps pushing through here. Very nice. Be interesting to see how this uh, plays out on the other hand. And when you guys are ready, let's send it. We got Karsty in the lead position with Hockey Hunter in the chase. Very nice initiation coming into this first outside zone here. Karsty pulling, a, pulling away a little bit here as uh, Hunter's trying to catch up into that first D-cell zone onto the second wall. Little bit of a tap there. Coming around to the first inside clip, or sorry, second inside clip and then around the wall and finishing off there. Two very interesting runs by both of them. When you guys are ready, Let's send them on their way for the second run here. We got a hunter in here in the lead position with Karsty in the chase coming around that first long outside zone. Coming around, they're both looking much better here. Kicking around that inside clip. Looks like Karsty went a little bit over and we have a hit. Not too sure what happened there. Yep. All right. Pitter. We got chat going, pitter, pitter. <laughs> it's all good. All right, let's get these guys lined up for the, uh, the second run here. So we got Carsey in the lead position, Hockey Hunter in the chase. When you guys are ready, go. 
Here we go. Coming into this outside clip, and Hockey Hunter just smacks into Karsty here. Looks like uh, we're going to have these guys just uh, finish off here. Yeah, I'm wondering if we had uh, some technical difficulties on his end, but that is a big oof. First run jitters, I think. Yep. You know, we see it every comp, too. Uh, every comp, there's always that first round jitters, and these guys uh, these guys sometimes struggle to just, uh, you know, pull together. You're practicing all week, and unfortunately, sometimes that's the way it pans out. We got Adrian in the lead, Strawberry in the chase. You guys are getting lined up here. Let's see those lights and send these guys on their way. And we got him off. Let's see some stuff from these guys. Both of them nice flicks into that entry here, coming into the outside zone. Look at that proximity that Strawberry just pushed in. Coming around to our first inside clip. We've seen a few people trip up here tonight, but right into that D-cell zone, like nobody's business. A little bit of tap there by Strawberry, but uh, definitely pushing to try to hold that angle. Coming around to our last outside zone here. And definitely uh, a push for the finish there by both. So we got Strawberry in the lead position this time with Adrian in the chase. When you guys are ready. Huge speed here coming into it. Into our first outside zone here. These guys are just scraping along there, coming around into our first inside clip. Huge speed into the D-cell zone there by Strawberry. Adrian just trying to keep his distance at this point, and both a miss on that second clip. But uh, coming around, a bit of a wall tap there, and pushing their way out. Now I gotta say, this track looks pretty self-explanatory and easy, but once you run it, you realize the uh, the proximity on these walls can really, uh, really trip you up. Yeah, I mean, you catch one of those, uh, one of those clips there, it can, uh, can definitely hurt. But both, both finishing strong here. We've taken a, a close look at some of these things here. But uh, in terms of angle on my end, uh, looks like Strawberry had a little bit of struggles there to uh, hold it in the first round. Um, kind of bouncing around off of, off of Adrian there. And it seems like Adrian just kind of had the better proximity in the second run there. He had a little bit of issues in the beginning, but kind of really tightened it up at the end there. So we are giving this one over to Adrian. GG guys, good stuff. Here we go, we got Matt lined up in the chase position there. This is his first run of the night. We got Tyler in the lead. Let's see those lights and send these guys on their way. Let's go. Sending these guys. Nice initiation by both. Matt coming up with some huge angle there, trying to catch up to Tyler here as he's scooting away just a little bit, but coming around into our D-cell zone on our second outside zone. These guys are holding to this wall. No problems thus far. Coming into our last D-cell zone as well as the last corner, and Matt just barely staying off of his door there with a bit of a D-cell on that last corner. Very nice run by both. Yeah, that was a very nice run. May I say, might be the run of the night so far. Get excited when we get closer to these semifinals and finals because they just get tastier and tastier. Yeah, you know, there was just like this little point here where he was trying to close that proximity and get a little bit closer to Tyler. Um, these guys just staying off that wall because a little extra throttle is going to throw you right into it and just wreck your run. But... Uh, 
Yeah, very nice. Right, right there was the uh, the slow up, but uh, Matt handled it well in the chase position there, as well as great lead by Tyler. Let's see these guys go in the other direction with Matt in the lead position, Tyler in the chase. Let's get those lights going and see these guys go. Huge speed by both these guys coming into this. You need that speed for this corner. And look at that angle by Matt and Tyler just swinging up right on his door. Knock, knock. He's there. Coming around into this decel on the second outside zone. It looks like a little bit of a scrape there by Matt, but uh, very nice, neat, and tidy. A little bit over on Tyler on that inside clip, but we're pushing through and a very nice run by both as they exit out on those doors. Of Those that are the great. ones that all the people come for here. Yeah, let's let's take a look at these replays. These replays side by side. This is going to take probably a quick second for us to make up our minds on. But uh, very nice lead and lead versus lead and chase versus chase on both these guys here. Bring him the. You know, we got we got a little bit of contact on that second outside zone, and then a little bit of a clip over there on uh, Tyler's part on that inside clip. So, uh, let's get this double up and. Uh... Here we go. These guys just ran. Should be fresh in their blood right now. We got Brad in the lead position. Ashton in the chase. These guys battling out for bronze for the night. Who's going to take it home and who's going to get that podium spot? Let's see those lights. Nice flick by Brad there. Ashton coming up, trying to close it up. And he's coming. He's coming for that door, coming around and into this transition clip into our D cell right away. Ashton taking it a little bit tight, but can he pull it together? Yeah, right on the door there and lost a bit of speed there. Maybe a little bit of an overreaction, but uh, solid runs by both. Ashton in the lead position, Brett in the chase. This is for the bronze podium finish. Let's send these guys. Let's see those lights. All right. These guys throwing some angle here. Brett coming up, flying in almost into Ashton there, but pulled back at the last second there. Coming around that inside clip. This diesel zone and pushing through. Ashton definitely held the speed there. Brett trying to catch up. Coming around and both of them kind of clipping over that uh, inside clip. And a little wall tap by Ashton there and pushing through. Let's get our double replay going right away here so we can just start talking about it. Adrian in the lead position matt in the chase position this is for who's taking home the gold let's see those lights and send these guys on their way nice flick by adrian matt coming in really tight there with some contact on the first outside zone as he pushes through into this inside clip into our decel zone holding that proximity a little bit of scrape there by matt as well this guy's pushing hard and a hard cut by matt there looked like a three tire drop as they push through onto the outside but anything can happen in this second run we got matt in the lead position adrian in the chase this is what all of tonight has boiled down to let's get these guys on their way and see who's taking the gold
Nice flick by Matt. Adrian has seemed to have lost uh, some proximity here on the, uh, the first entry there. Coming around, filling out those zones. Matt's just cruising, and he has a wall hit, unfortunately, on that outside zone, too. As they come around for this clip and finish out strong here with another little tap by Matt. Whew. GG to the run. Let's get a quick replay and we'll throw up our uh, double replay here. Give these guys their their moment. Need to see drone camera footage on that. Yep. Definitely get a better angle there from that. As you guys know, we're trying to improve our competition uh, every night here. Um, every time. Adding a little bit of something else to kind of increase the viewing experience for you, as well as even more angles for us judges to be looking at here. We're also looking for announcer or judge positions we would ultimately like to have three judges every week as well as two announcers if that's something that you're interested in or know somebody that is interested in that feel free to send them my way via discord here it is we're gonna go to have a quick chat about these runs here and uh we'll be right back with you guys guys well excellent runs by all tonight i appreciate everybody who participated in tonight's comp uh again huge thanks to everybody that participated the layout creators for this map making it public for us to run and use a uh, huge shout out to dials fpv for giving us that awesome drone cam tonight don't forget to show this guy some love and uh check out his socials this is what he does and he does it so well um i appreciate everybody that participated tonight we are going to be lining up for a podium and then we will be sliding after this uh don't forget in discord exclamation discord will get you in we have a track suggestion area as well for next week's track it has not been decided yet but we will have everything posted up on wednesday as well as practice servers for you guys um Again, appreciate everybody. We're trying to improve every week, and we are looking to uh, to definitely expand things out and uh, you know make it a better experience for all. 